My name is Tetsuro Matsuzawa, primatologist. I'm studying chimpanzees in the wild and in the laboratory. Today I want to take this opportunity to talk about my study on chimpanzee mind. So first, uh, let me introduce you my laboratory work. Um, I'm working in the Primate Research Institute, Kyoto University. There is a group of 14 chimpanzees. My partner is called I, spelled A-I, pronounced like I, meaning love in Japanese. Uh, she gave a birth to her son named Ayumu. Um, this is the story of I and Ayumu in the Primate Research Institute. So every morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, um, they are invited to come to the booth. Usually they are living in the outdoor, ember, uh, outdoor compound, um, 15 meters high climbing frames, and a lot of vegetation on the ground. So based on their free will, they come to the booth to face to the computer uh, touch screen monitor. So we are testing the cognitive capability of chimpanzee in this computerized setting. So chimpanzee I can code red to the corresponding letter or can code blue to the corresponding letter. So in a sense, color is coded to the letter. And the reverse, you can see the letter gray so it is easy for you. <laughs> Yellow. It's so easy for Japanese audience. But to some extent, chimpanzee can symbolize the color into the code. Uh, here is a uh, Ayumu chimpanzee uh, touching the Arabic numerals from 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, even more. So 1 through 19, he knows the order of the numerals. So based on this skill, we tested the memory capability of chimpanzee. After touch one, the other numerals go on. Turn to be white rectangles. Touch one, the others go on. But he touched two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? After touch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't worry, you cannot do it. <laughs> but the chimpanzee, they can do it. Okay? After touching one, the other numerals are gone. So this task is much, uh, even difficult. Seven numerals, one and four are missing, and very briefly presented. Still, he can remember it. I tested the same thing with my students, Kyoto University students. <laughs> Their accuracy is zero. So. <laughs> Humans cannot do it, but the chimpanzee can memorize the numerals at a glance. But this is a very challenging task, even for the chimpanzees. So sometimes it's difficult for him to pay the attention. So he lost. He lost. He lost. <laughs> and he completely lost his attention. But 10 seconds later, he can do it. So this memory continues at least 10 seconds. So after the test, I usually get into the booth to play with the chimpanzees. I clean up the hands and, and feet. And in return, she grooms me back. <laughs> so this kind of intimate relationship is also very important for carrying the uh, research. And after the test, they go back to the co compound to join the member of the group. So try to keep the chimpanzee as natural as possible. And still you can access to the cognitive capability of chimpanzees. So that is our way of research. And of course, we are very similar but different. Look at the chimpanzee can walk on the rope by PW. 
So humans and chimpanzee, we share the latest common ancestor about several million years ago. So we are, we are very, very similar to each other, but different. So this video clip uh, clearly shows that chimpanzee can learn language-like skill to some extent. And even more, there is a cognitive task, like memorizing numerals. Chimpanzee can be better than us. So humans cannot be superior to humans in this task. So the next question is, this kind of intellectual capability, how is it utilized in their natural habitat in Africa? So let's go to Africa. I want to show my chimpanzee in Africa. Uh, Bossu, B-O-S-S-O-U, is the name of, of the community. Bossu chimpanzee is well known to use stone tool, a pair of stones to crack open oil palm nuts, very hard shell. So she, adult female, will pick up a nut to place it on the anvil stone and crack it open. Then to get the kernel, edible part, to get it. By the way, she's left-hander always hitting by the left hand. So this is uh, the, you, the cultural tradition uniquely in this community, not in the other place of Africa. So this stone to use, the skill is transmitted fr from one generation to the next. How? Education by master apprenticeship. I want to show the example. This is a uh, Young female, three years and a half. It's right before the first success of cracking open nuts. So she stopped her attempt and go to the adult to see. In this close distance, I don't know why so close, but she loves to see what's going on by the adult. And the adult does not teach actively. Just show the high tolerance. And the infant, the child, love to go back to her original place and try to do by herself. So this tells us mother and adults just show the model. And the child has a very strong motivation to make the copy. The imitation is not so easy. Not so easy task for the chimpanzees. So putting things together, uh, I have made my parallel effort of studying chimpanzees in the wild, in the laboratory. And what is uniquely human? My shortest answer is imagination. We have the power of imagination. Chimpanzee lives here and now, the world of here and now. But we can think about the past before the death even the future after the death, sorry. The past before the birth and the future after the death, we can think about such a thing. Or we can be sympathetic to the persons suffering in the remote place. This is really, really uniquely human. So in short, uh, chimpanzees cannot become desperate even not worried about tomorrow, because they live here and now. But humans can easily become desperate, but we can have a hope. So humans can have a hope. That is a message from the study of chimpanzees. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.